All right, I have my Atrix um, running CyanogenMod Mod 7 right now. Um, now, the uh, <clears throat> there's a soap test coming out for the Atrix. Um, I'm assuming ice cream sandwich, don't know yet. Um, but I need to have it off of this and back onto uh, the stock ROM, which was backed up when right before I installed uh, CyanogenMod Mod 7 using um, Clockwork Mod. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, go to the ROM manager and I have the free one. Um, uh, so what we do is we will say um, reboot into recovery, which is right here. And then you'll say OK. It'll grant it super user rights and then it will reboot um, the phone. into recovery of course. <clears throat> now my backup is on the SD card um, so I'm gonna actually go down um, and I'm gonna select backup and restore and hit my power button to actually select it. I'm gonna say restore and it automatically finds my um, the file that I need. Um, so I'm going to hit the power button again to select that. So <clears throat> now I have to actually go down to the one that says yes restore. You'll get a lot of no's there. I'm not really sure what all of those mean, um, but we'll look into that later. So I tap it. It starts the restore process. Checking MD5. Of course, it doesn't look like it's doing anything right now. So it erases the boot, which is not the bootloader, by the way. <clears throat> and then it restores the boot image from the, the correct boot image. Um, and now it's restoring the system itself. Now this also works with, um, you know, the images you can find on XDA and um, you know other places um, of course it won't be your image that you had originally if you didn't back up before installing uh, CM7 um, but should work just the same uh, worst case you don't get over the air updates and you have to manually update um, but overall should work the same way This process is actually going to take a little while. Um, now, my Atrix is on ATT. Um,
restored the system, now it's restoring data. I know many of you may, may wonder why I'm actually recording this whole part, but um, <clears throat> I figure for those of you that want to see the entire process and how long it takes and, um, you know, completely in case you, you have an issue at any point, um, I am recording the whole thing. Now I will um, put in the description of this video, um, you know, where this process starts and where it stops so that you can fast forward if you would like. <laughs> Restore complete. So now, what we'll do is we'll go down to wipe data factory reset up here. Select it. Delete all user data. Data wipe complete. Now we will select reboot system. Power button again, of course. Now it says rebooting. Of course, you see the bootloader is still unlocked. And since this is the first uh, run after it's been restored, it may take a while to boot up initially. <clears throat> that and of course AT&T puts you know, their added stuff. Uh, CyanogenMod 7 obviously runs m much faster and would have already been booted by now. Um, Here we go. There's the <coughs> AT&T rethink possible, which of course is not <laughs> part of Cyanogen Mod. Um, we would have had the Cyanogen Mod logo here. And there we are, Moto Blur. Of course, um, this is a whole nother process, so. <laughs> but that's it, we're good. We're now on a stock ROM and I just have to set it up again um, back like I got it from the store. Um, that's it, good luck.